what's up y'all so i know i said um <laughs> i was supposed to show y'all like me packing and shipping orders and stuff last time but i ended up getting that burrito and when i got home i swallowed it whole so <laughs> and after that you know what happened <laughs> i don't sleep actually no i didn't i sat on the couch and i was watching um waiting to excel for the first time as a grown-ass woman <laughs> and then um did i take a nap i don't think i did take a nap but i um i didn't do nothing <laughs> i sat on that couch no actually i did do something i'm lying let me give me myself some type of credit because i had um took some pictures of them little backpacks and stuff that i was supposed to post a long time ago Actually, not a long time ago, because those are kind of new. Well, they ain't that new. I could have been doing it. But anyways, I got something done. I just didn't show y'all. But, um, what did I do last? I had went, so I told y'all I was going to Forever 21. I ain't ended up finding nothing in there, so. I had, uh, went back the next day. Well, I had went to two that day, actually. And then... I didn't see nothing at the second one either, but when I went, when I came home, I thought about it. I'm like, oh, I should have grabbed them leggings because I could have made like a DIY out of them leggings. So I went back the next day and got them. They was only, the original price, how much the leggings be? Like $3.90 or something like that? But they was on sale for $3 and then they were 30% off. So I only ended up paying $2.10 for all of them. So I got like four pairs and I'll show y'all that later. I'm going to do a DIY out of one of them. No, well, out of all four of them, actually. That's why I bought so many. So, I'm going to show you all that still. I didn't really get nothing. That's all I got was them leggings and um, a shirt and a skirt. And tell me why. <laughs> when I walked out of the store, my little things start beeping. I mean, my bags start beeping. But I'm like, I only bought some leggings. And they don't be putting them tags on them leggings. And I'm like, I remember the shirt having nothing on it. And the skirt didn't have nothing on it. So, after I, you want to light after I turn it on. So, after I stepped outside and check it, it was nothing in the bag. So, I'm like, okay, when I get to the car, I'm going to check it and make sure for sure nothing is in there. But somebody ended up calling me and I forgot all about it. So, why yesterday I come home and check this bag and I tried the skirt on because it was a medium and I know I'm a large. But I'm like, maybe I can still fit it. It was, it's, it's too tight. Like, it's, it's smashing me in places it shouldn't be smashing me. But, anyways. <laughs> While I go in the pocket and the sensor is in there. Let me show y'all the sensor. It's just one of them round ones. But I'm like, why? It was in the pocket. So, it's like somebody had took it out, put it back together, and then put it in the pocket. I was mad. Well, I wasn't mad because it was already, you know, undone. <laughs> The whole thing just in the pocket. Is it gonna focus? The whole entire thing just in the pocket. I'm like, who? Luckily, it wasn't attached because I wasn't trying to go back. <laughs> but yeah, that's what happened there. Um, I didn't record when I went to the second one because it was no point. Because I was really in and out. But, um,. Right now, I'm making me some little breakfast. Well, if you want to consider a grilled cheese sandwich and breakfast, because I feel like if I actually make a breakfast, <laughs> I'm not gonna get nothing done. I'm gonna eat that breakfast and feel sleepy all over again, and it's just gonna be a cycle. And stuff just gonna keep piling up, and I'm gonna get overwhelmed, and I'm not gonna make no moves, and it's just gonna keep getting more and more of a mess. So it's Sunday and I'm getting ready to do my little Sunday rituals. <laughs> Just play my music, clean up, and then I'll show y'all the the orders and stuff that I got to uh, put together and ship out. Was I supposed to show y'all something else? I don't remember. Oh, that's what I did do. My intent was, <laughs> I think that same day, yeah, I went to the store because I wanted some Kool-Aid because I was on do like a little situation with some cupcakes because if y'all didn't know like what's that video I did I'm making the um little strawberry crumble I started making cupcakes like the whole 
situation the cupcakes with the crumble on top and then i'm like i need to start thinking of some um other flavors but i'm like it really ain't a lot of flavors to make it with i mean you could it's complicated but anyways <laughs> i was like why don't i just get some kool-aid packets and try to do something with that even either use it as a topping put it in the icing or put it in cake batter i'm gonna try to figure it out so anyways i looked it up and saw if people was using kool-aid in cake mix and apparently it's a thing <laughs> people do that like when they're trying to make like rainbow cakes and stuff like that that's what they use but i'm not going for the look of it i want the flavor of it so i'm gonna try to see if that works out and when I went on YouTube and looked, apparently people was making Kool-Aid pies. So <laughs> yesterday I went to the Dollar Tree and got like the pie crust. Everything that I needed was at the Dollar Tree except the Kool-Aid. But I had already had the Kool-Aid because I was using it for something else. So um, yeah, apparently Kool-Aid pies is a thing too. And um, I was watching this like, oh shit, I'm burning my little oop, sandwich. How am I standing here and burning the sandwich at the same time? Running my mouth. It ain't even up high. This ain't the look I was going for. I like my grilled cheese sandwich to be a certain... It gotta be like a golden brown all around. The outside of it is a little, little dark. But... You still gonna get eight. Anyway. Um, just a little about Oh, the Kool-Aid pie. So... <laughs> I was watching this lady do it and she said that she got her stuff from the Dollar Tree but I'm like I ain't never seen no cool with my Dollar Tree but at the same time if you ain't looking for it you ain't gonna find it so I'm like my Dollar Tree ain't got that I'm like I might as well go to the store but I'm like nah let me just go anyway so I found the uh, pie crust I found the cool whip I found the I found the um the sweetened uh, uh condensed milk and tell me why it was only two left and I grabbed both of them too Cause they was a little size and I think they used a bigger can. So I'm probably have to use both of those. But I was like, look at God, because I wasn't going nowhere else after that. <laughs> I was ready to come home. So I'm gonna probably uh, try to make these Kool-Aid pies and see what everybody is raving about. But I did grab me a little key lime pie from the Dollar Tree too. So when I was in line, uh, <laughs> The dude behind me and the lady at the register was like, Kill my pies, we got those. I'm like, I'm like, I've never been to a Dollar Tree that didn't have Key Lime Pies. These are so good. Don't look at my nails. I need I need help. I'm trying to get myself together today. <laughs> yeah, it don't matter which Dollar Tree you go to, they all got them little key lime pies. So I don't know why she was so surprised that they had them. Like, you work here. <laughs> they be having those and they be having like little chocolate ones, but them key lime pies is fine. I'm just gonna see making my little grilled cheese sandwich. I really want to make like some French toast, some sausage. I don't eat eggs, so that's out. Um, hey, hold on, butter. Y'all know me and oil do not mix, but. Butter got some nerves. But anyways, I think I'm just gonna make a video on stuff y'all didn't think the Dollar Tree had, or stuff y'all should get from the Dollar Tree, or stuff you need to get from the Dollar Tree that you didn't know you needed. <laughs> type of video. Because they be having some stuff in there. Y'all can sleep in on Dollar Tree. I had bought me a piece of salmon from there. Yes, salmon from there. It was pretty good, but I don't like uh, skin on my salmon. So, I have to eat around it. <laughs> so, my sandwich is done. Oh, this is my Okay. I gotta do dishes. I gotta wash me a wine glass and everything. But today be my day where I usually clean, slow it down, and uh, try to prepare for Monday and stuff. Uh, um, and my choice in music usually be like uh, R&B, soul, like 90s type of music. Right now I'm listening to Raheem Devon. I don't think his uh, stuff is copyrighted because I was going to do...
Man, I want to, I know I'm just going on and on, but I want to do like this whole little Valentine's little situation type of skit. But the song I wanted to use was by Case. And I'm like, they ain't gonna have none of the songs that's on this album. We're, uh, 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 Open Letter was the album that the song was on. I'm like, they ain't gonna have uh, none of his songs on here copyright. The only one they probably have was Missing You because that was the single. Why I go on there and look and see if it's copyrighted and it for sure is. I'm like, well shit, it's just done messed up my whole little game plan. So I ain't even want to do it no more because I have my whole mindset on acting out what he was saying in the song. So I'm just like, I don't even want to do it no more. And then I was going to do a Raheem Devon song, but at that point it was just too late. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm listening to now. I'm gonna put my little grilled cheese sandwich on this napkin because <laughs> I already got enough dishes to wash. So here go my little grilled cheese sandwich. Turn it around. You see how I, I assembled it? <laughs> and my face get up to where y'all can see me. And my little glass of wine and orange juice. Let me look at my nails. Okay, let me uh, get myself together. <laughs> some of this stuff from Walmart. I'm trying to avoid opening it up because they was a little bit more expensive than they should have been. But this is real light. I don't even think this weighs a pound. Like, it's just canvas. That's all it is. And then just a couple of pieces of wood in the back. So, I'm going to probably put that on the wall. I'm going to um, wipe my walls with alcohol and then I might try to just put it up. <laughs> That lighting is way better if I just move y'all 12 inches to the left. <laughs> but what am I gonna put y'all on? I got it. Oh, I just laid new dirt all across my floor. <laughs> uh, I'm doing the most. 
Baby doing the most, doing the most. One, two, three, and thinking I found you. See how I turn two words into a whole damn song from my memory? <laughs> nah, y'all gonna fall. I ain't gonna take that chance. <laughs> Are you insured? By survival. <laughs> well, I can't take that chance. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> Something wrong with me. All right. There we go. There we go. Where you at? Where you at? Okay. Now I gotta decide which one of these I'm gonna use. You <laughs> try to use. I think I'm gonna. Uh... Let me figure this out. Cause the Velcro, it seemed like the Velcro. It say it hold. Oh. It don't. Oh. It holds up to ten pounds, but you probably gotta use the whole entire pack. Okay. Holds up to one pound per square inch. Okay, so I could probably cut two of these. I don't know if I, yo, I probably, should probably just use the hooks, huh? I think I'm just gonna stick with the hooks. I can turn the lighting down now because <laughs> y'all in the, uh... mm. Mm. should I use the hooks or should, these are actually called paper, paper, picture hanging strips. So maybe I should just use these. But my painting, I mean, this don't mean nothing. Like I could, I'm holding this with one finger. Let me figure this out. I'm ready to put the music back on. <laughs> Okay, so I put two of them hooks up there, but I use the ones that I had got from the Dollar Tree. If I come home one day from work and it's on the floor, <laughs> I gotta use the ones from Walmart. <laughs> so I put two of them up there, but the little hook that's under there ain't even, it's not long enough, so it's only catching on the one. So I might as well take the left one down because it's on there with the right. But it look cute matching and stuff i think i got it in a cute little position it's been a little homey now even though i've already been here damn near a year <laughs> i've been here since august and i still ain't really did no home decorating videos well i filmed a lot actually when i first moved in but <laughs> never posted it of course so hopefully that hold i don't know how long it's gonna hold but it's up there and that's all I've been wanting. And if y'all see me come back <laughs> and it ain't there and it's behind the couch, y'all know what happened. Okay, so I cleaned my floor up. I'm gonna uh, get my orders ready and I'll show y'all that. And then I'll, start, I'll finish cleaning off the just because I still have a lot to do. And I know y'all don't wanna see all that. I swear one day I'm just gonna be talking and then all of a sudden it's just gonna drop. <laughs> okay, so I already picked out everything that they had. Everything that they had ordered because I don't want y'all looking at stuff and it's just repetitive because I've already done this before. Y'all seen me do this before. Um, I'm not gonna go too much into detail about how I package my stuff because I've done that in a video. I'll put it up here somewhere. I've already showed y'all how I pack my orders, why I pack them that way, why I use the services I use, um, and 
What was the other thing I did? I showed y'all how to, um, oh, how to brand y'all packaging in a cheaper way. So I'm just going to get all my stuff out of here. Because all my stuff is organized if y'all watch that video. But I'll just show y'all anyway. Bones crackling. <laughs> so all my shipping supplies is under here. All my envelopes is right here. I have some boxes too, but I usually don't get too many big orders. So I just keep them in the closet. I got like my ribbons and my stuff in my jewelry boxes and business cards and other stuff for like packing and shipping and then tape over here. Um, what you call that paper? Um, wrapping paper. Not wrapping paper. You don't know what that is. Shit. And, uh, so these are my orders right here. So I'm just going to show y'all a few orders right here. So this is one order. The cheetah print uh, mini backpack and the glasses this why did i call this cheetah print this is not cheetah print everything is not cheetah print this is jaguar print and then this is a i mean not ja jaguar leopard girl one of them but it's for sure ain't no cheetah print and then um this over here i don't know if this is cheetah or jack jaguar it's a, like a mixture of both but anyways <laughs> this shirt this mesh shirt y'all see me wear this in the video where i showed y'all how to um organize your inventory these glasses i told y'all the other day that like, these is really popular for some odd reason they cute though they plain but they cute in this rhinestone bag it's like a little it's like a little over the shoulder bag you can't carry too much stuff in there but it do fit your phone um over here this velvet set is selling really good too it's like a little is that blocking the light it sure is and my floors is clean. Y'all saw me just mop them. So it's like this little top. And it come with like the little biker shorts. So a little crop top. And biker shorts. It's like a velvet material. Yeah, like a little velvet material. And then she got these glasses to go with. It's the same like these black ones. Except they like an ombre and then over here this is a snake print backpack she ordered the green snake print backpack and the purple version i think i caught these summer square so if y'all go on my website these is called summer square and she ordered these purple ones oh my legs hurt okay so i'm just gonna pack these up and i'll show y'all how i do that real quick
Okay, so here go the orders right here. I didn't close them up or nothing because I still got to stuff the rest of them with. I'll just put a little bit of this in there. Just a little bit because I don't want this. When people open that, I don't want it all over the place. And I like to cut just like different shapes of paper and then put my stamp on the back. So this is my business name, what I sell, plus more, how much it is, and a little thank you on the side. So I'm going to finish stamping the rest of these. And then, of course, I'm going to put the person's address on here. I just didn't want to accidentally expose nobody's address. but And then I'm just going to take these to the post office tomorrow. So that's pretty much how I sh um, pack and ship my orders out. It's pretty easy. You don't have to do all the stuff that I did, but that's just how I like to do it. So I'm going to just finish packing the rest of the orders. And I don't know what I'm going to do next, but... I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I guess this is gonna be it for this vlog because, like I said, I'm hungry. And, um, <laughs> oh, I painted my nails a little bit. I just threw some paint on them real quick. Threw some glitter on it. Called it a day real quick. It took me like five minutes to do. But, um, I think I'm gonna try to do this vlogging like every Sunday, like have a video every Sunday. I was doing it more often than that, but it's like, like I said, y'all don't watch my vlogs, so. <laughs> like I was saying in the last one that um, I'm going to try to incorporate business videos into my vlog. That way it don't seem like so boring and so like instructional and so like, you know what I'm saying? Like I could just talk how I want to talk. I ain't got to go back and oh I messed up no I gotta be perfect say it perfectly no y'all gonna get it how it come out so it is what it is <laughs> and I want to edit this video and have it up by today so I'm gonna probably stop it here it's already 4 15 y'all know time chime y'all know time changed this morning so <laughs> it's gonna be midnight before I know it and I still gotta clean up I'll probably finish the rest tomorrow but um yeah that's pretty much it i'll probably continue to vlog but i'll probably put it in a whole separate situation but this is pretty much what i wanted y'all to see for today since i said that's what y'all was gonna see last time i don't even know if i added what they're down there whistling in some motion but i don't know if i put i don't know how i'm gonna edit this so if y'all don't see me in a blue shirt in the beginning then that went into a whole separate situation. I'm just waiting for this thing to fall. <laughs> it seems like it's holding up there though. Hopefully my little pain stay up there. It's chilling. But um, I feel like it was something else I want to tell you. Oh, it's in right in front of me. I wanted to do a DIY on these little whole ass pants. <laughs> I don't know what you call these. But I had bought these when I had went downtown. He charged me, um, no, actually he didn't. He gave them to me for free. But they like leggings. They leggings, got the zipper in the back, and then they lace up on the side. All the way down. That's why I said I went to uh, Ferris 21 to go get the other leggings so I can do a DIY on those. So that's probably what I'll do when I cut this off so I'm gonna try to do I don't know if I'm gonna add the zipper to it because that's too much I don't feel like sewing and if I do add the zipper I'm gonna glue it on <laughs> but yeah that's about it um hope y'all enjoy y'all Sunday hope it was productive and that's about it I don't know how to end this shit no more because I ain't vlogged and I don't know since what December yeah so that's it y'all can click off now <laughs> I'll put a discount code somewhere in this video, I'm sure. And I'll talk to y'all later. So I'm ready to play my music and sip my wine and chill. Because that's what you do on Sundays. I just took my ass to church. <laughs> I'll be... Bye, y'all.